Hi guys, this is Laza from Mouse. I am the Jordan's player of my team and I figured I'd make a little video showing you some tips and tricks for newer players or even like intermediate players or just in general if you're an experienced player and you're trying out the duelist role this is kind of a few easy tips and tricks that would get you started. So in general the role of the duelist is to on T side mostly make space and on defense mostly to contest map control, go for opening picks. It kind of depends on which agent you're going to be going with uh, on the map uh, within your team or, you know, dependent on your comp. So with the Jet, I figured that I would talk about Jet as that's mostly the agent that I play uh, on a lot of maps in Maus currently. Um, some of these things will apply to other duelists as well. But with Jet, uh, some of them are slightly different. And I guess every duelist kind of has a different vibe and what's kind of expected of you and what you will succeed with and those kind of things. So I'll, I'll just show some Jet stuff just to be um, get you started with the, the duelist role. So within Valorant, uh, the, the operator is similar to any kind of sniper rifle, if you've played Counter-Strike, uh, the AWP or uh, Call of Duty, you know, any kind of sniper. The sniper is one shot kill to the body, uh, leg shots is not a one shot and headshots also a one shot. So most people on defense will play with the operator uh, as much as they can. Uh, there are exceptions to that, but I think a lot of the players do play uh, operator on jet on defense. And kind of what your role is, is to either Get onto a, a deep angle where you can be left alone as you have the dash. So this is like Jet's main ability that I'm sure most of you know, but the dash is the the primary function of Jet to be able to get out of sticky situations that not many other agents can. So typically you're going to want to go for aggressive peaks or you're going to want to be on angles where you can be left alone. Uh, and in, in those situations, your teammates can rotate off and you can have... Um, the other bomb sites, especially on Haven, the map that I'm on currently, if you have all of A alone, if you're on an angle such as this, your teammates can rotate off to B and C and you have a lot more chance to win the round, especially in your ranked games. So I would say if you were going to do something like this at the start of a round, you could have a server come recon, you'd get onto an off angle. That's the, that's the main positive of Jet. You don't really have to sit on these normal typical angles. You could sit on this angle with any agent, but if you're on Jet, you can play something like this because you have this escapability of your dash. So if you go start getting contested or they serve a drone, you could hide, wait for the drone, take your time in, peek out, get a kill and dash away. That would essentially be, you know, a very simple explanation, but that is essentially what you can do on, on any map. And it's kind of different, obviously depending on the map, what areas you'd, you'd want to give for picks, what areas you'd want to be left on. But Jet is just so good at creating off angles due to her updraft and her dash. It allows her to play in positions that many other agents can't, uh, which makes her strong in regards of getting kills and opening kills, as she kind of has that X factor that other agents don't have. So some more general things that aren't just used by duelists, but are very good and important to know within Valorant, as they can be the difference between dying and surviving, is kind of the way that you peek, the way that you take information and just in general the way that you do things which might be different to some of the other games you played. Obviously in other FPS titles it's really common to jiggle peek which like some people would still do but what you'd want to learn to do to have a more chance of not dying when, you, when you're going for information such as on Sea Long and Haven is like a typical jump spot right so it's a bit different to other games like I said as you would just jiggle peek. In Valorant it's really important that you can get this down and that you can like jump spot effectively because it's a much safer way of taking information that you need almost at all times in Valorant. Information is super important and it's a difference between winning and losing rounds. So getting down jump peaks is just something that you'd want to practice. There's there's going to be, you know, loads of ways of practicing it. You could literally just come into a server and just practice the movement of jump peeking left. or you can literally just try it in your ranked games and see, you know, if you're dying less by trying to take info. This is not really a position where you typically want to just wide swing because you're peeking into a, a lane of potentially five people where you're going to die. So if you did this instead and you went for the jump peak, so there's a lot of people, you can reposition. Especially if you were on jet, you could come literally on a, a, an off angle. Or if you were on any agent, that's why I'm kind of saying it's not just a duelist thing. Every single agent in this game can do a jump peak like that. And it's just super important for not dying and taking information. The jump peak is uh, the jump peak for information is really simple. Uh, it's literally a case of running forward, 
jumping and then basically pressing left or right dependent on which side you need to jump from so obviously with this side you'd want to jump spot like this or at least there's other ways you can do it but this is the way that i would say that i do it most of the time you're jumping around the corner strafing back to the left and then holding s i also have bound jump to mouse wheel i know that a lot of people like doing this because of other fps games it's a lot easier to consistently jump with a mouse wheel as you can just scroll it consistently with uh, just spacebar, it's it can be hard to kind of chain your jumps together. Um, so I would recommend doing that if you haven't already done that, change into mouse wheel. So it's a case of running forward, jumping, strafing left, and then backwards at the same time. It, it would just take some practice. What you don't want is to be doing like, that's like a typical, you know, uh, slower jump spot. You can you can definitely do it in different ways, but you want to make sure that you show as little of your body as you possibly can, because in a lot of situations, better players will be ready for a jump spot if they know that you're playing al alone. If um, you're just peeking and there's an orb holding you like this, you're going to die. There's still a chance you die for a jump spot, as a lot of better players kind of pre-aim for jump spots and you will die more than likely if they are doing that. But just adding that to your arsenal will make you a better player and help you gain information with a less chance of dying. So the typical role of duelist on T sides on, on almost all maps, there are some exceptions, but the typical role of a duelist is to create space. Creating space in ranked um, and in competitive play, uh, play is super important as it allows your team to get the information and to essentially sometimes split the bomb site in half. Like if you can create enough space you're going to give your teammates the information of where they are and you're going to cause havoc on the site. So a typical thing that you'll see Jets do, uh, which you can't do as Rays as well, but it's done slightly differently, is, you know, if I have a teammate and he's ready to flash, an example you'll see is, you know, like a breach flash through here. You would run up of long, smoke, dash, and then clear your left and your right as you go into the smoke. By doing that, you're giving yourself cover because you're going to be landing in the smoke, but you can also clear this angle and this angle for your team. When you do that, there's a lot less chance of you getting multi-killed by a defender as you're giving your teammates the entire information about where they are. And aside from that, if you clear it and there's nobody there, peeking through this with utility or even sometimes dry is going to get you frags. But the importance of it is just you're creating a bit more room for the rest of your team that don't have the luxury of dashes and things like that to be able to get onto the bomb site, to be able to get the opening kill, and to just make the round in general easier for your team. Like I said, it can be done differently. If you were to play raise, um, it, it would be the same concept, obviously, without a smoke, and you would double satchel into a bomb site. But the principle is the same. Creating space as a duelist is something super important and something that you should achieve, try to achieve in your ranked games as well as teams if you are in a team. As the duelist, it is expected of you to be doing these kind of things on your T sides because you have the luxury of the abilities that others do not. If you're a Brimstone or you're an, or you're an Astra or a Cypher or a Killjoy, you don't have the same luxury as a Jet or a Raze or anyone that can create space to be able to go into the bomb site first. As I shown, as I have shown, the the space you create is the difference between winning or losing rounds. If you are just going to lock in a duelist and play at the back, not utilize your uh, abilities, then I can promise you that your win rate and in general your improvement is going to be less. You are not doing um, the best that you could with the agents. And if you want to play, if you want to play passive and you don't want to take fights, you don't want to create space, then I'd recommend you play a different role. I mean, there are exceptions like in pro play, you'll probably see it, and even in ranked, I'm sure you see it a lot more in ranked. Jets will all on T side at times, and that is something that is situational and that players do do, and it's not something you should never do. But it's kind of learning to understand when it's important to AWP, when it's important to create space instead. There are going to be certain comps where getting that opening kill with the AWP is going to be super beneficial. But there will be comps where it's going to be super hard for you to do that, or comps where it's going to be super hard for your team to take a bomb site without you dashing in. And that's kind of one of the learning curves that you need to take in ranked by learning when you can op, when you should op, when you should entry, and kind of just in general, all situations, what is the best for you to do? I would say a good starting point is to play the duelist as a space creator and as an entry fragger on T sides. And I would uh, play around a bit with open on T side, but I would only do it in situations where you believe that it's the better thing to do.
Thanks guys for watching the first video that I've made with Mouse. Um, this has been kind of a bit of a few tips and tricks for the jawless roll, some general stuff like jump peeking and in general just small things that will help you win more ranked games. And if you're in a team or you're a newer player, just maybe some things that you've not had much thought into. Uh, we're going to be making more content like this, so if you have absolutely any ideas of things you'd want um, explaining from professional players, from anyone in my team, be sure to leave it in the comments, and I'm sure we'll get around to making videos and helping you improve your ranked and hopefully get to Radiant. Thanks.